Good morning, Calvary. So good to be here with you today. Uh, it, you know, as we get started with our word for the day, I want to talk about one of the analogies that Jesus used in his teaching. See, when you look at the teaching of Jesus, or so often it was filled with analogies and parables, and this was almost always done to help clarify his point and help connect it to us. And we're going to be looking at one of my favorite analogies that he uses in Matthew chapter 5, uh, starting verse 13. It says this, it says, You were the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people put a light, uh, night, light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives a light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. See, we are, are, are told here to be salt and light, and this is one of my favorite analogies of Jesus, but what does it mean for us? Well, first, I hope that it shows you that you have a purpose in this world. Jesus has given each of us a mission and an objective to accomplish that's summarized here in the statement. So thing one, we need to find encouragement in the fact that Jesus has a purpose and a calling for each of us. But what is that specifically? Well, first it says that we are to be salt. And I don't know what your relationship is with table salt, but even if you have health reasons why you stay away from it, I think we can all agree that at some level, salt exists to help food taste better. Well, in some points of history, it had other purposes. A universal purpose today is to make things taste better, to add to the quality and enjoyment of a meal. And the comparison there is that we as followers of Jesus should have that same effect on the world around us. We should add to the quality and enjoyment of the world for the people that we encounter. Second, it says that we are to be the light of the world. And I won't rant too much on lighting here because if you know me, you know this is near and dear to my heart, but hear this. Light brings direction, it brings clarity, but big picture, light brings hope. If you're in the dark, it's easy to panic, it's easy to despair, to struggle, but light brings hope, knowing that everything's going to be okay, that there's a direction forward. And as followers of Jesus, that's the purpose we have for those around us, to bring hope to them. And as our world gets more hopeless, it gets darker, which means that our light will shine brighter in those situations. So today, let me ask you, are you making the world a better place to live for those around you? Are you bringing joy and peace to your family, your friends, your coworkers? If not, let me encourage you to be a little bit more like salt and to increase the quality and enjoyment of life for those you interact with. Second, are you bringing the hope of Jesus into your context? The world is longing for hope, for good news right now. And as followers of Jesus, we have the ultimate source of hope. So let's not take our light and cover it up but let's live in a way that lets our light shine before others so they may see our good works and give glory to our Father in heaven. I hope that you have a great day, Calvary. I hope that you live as salt and light to the world around you. We'll see you next time.